Good evening, everybody. This is Becky here at Ant X Creations, and it's our Wednesday night playtime. And I just came on a little early, and I'm just going to set my page up for the border um, borders that we do. And I just use my ruler and divide my page up across until I get get it full. And it's usually, I think it's eight. Eight different borders we do together. this way everybody can get in hello everybody hi mindy hi holly and i am back at the cottage sally was doing well enough today that i thought she'd be fine you know on her own while greg was at work because she's in a crate with a litter box and stuff so she's good she's doing good they sure shaved a lot of her hair off though so she looks really funny um She's just a tiny little cat to begin with, and now to be hairless, she looks kind of odd. Oh, I'm going to use this pen that Kathy sent me. And I am on 10 minutes early, but hopefully everybody, I, I shared it over on Facebook in the group. And so hopefully everybody will start coming on in here in a minute. Or two. I did get a postcard from Mary. Let me grab that. It's her wisdom postcard. I got it in the mail while I was gone down to the house. And the main reason I came back today instead of tomorrow is we don't know what time the um, fuel oil is going to be delivered. And I forgot to leave the checkbook with Scott. So I came back um, so that I can write a check tomorrow for the fuel oil. There we go. And there's mine from last week. There. And then this is the one Mary did. Hi, Kendra. So I really am enjoying doing the postcards and sending them out. And I did a, a bunch of cleanup and I found a bunch of ATCs and put them in my book the other day that um, I think we did last year. But I've been trying to tackle like one box of stuff at a time. And then if I do one a day, I'll be happy. I'm starting to find space around me again. I cleaned my table off today. It's been great. So I, I'm going to go ahead and start on borders and everybody will catch up when they get in here. Um, I snuck on a little bit early because I was just ready to be on here and that's what happened. So we left off. Did we do the teddy bears? I guess we'll have to flip back and see what we did last week because I forgot to check off what we did. Yeah, and I didn't finish the teddy bears or my hummingbirds. I didn't go back and finish them like I thought I would. So... Whatever comes after teddy bears. Diane said roses. So we're going to do just some roses. Uh-oh. Kendra's YouTube is giving her troubles. If I don't plug my ethernet in, I just, I have all kinds of troubles. All right. And I, I just wrote Diane, so I don't have Diane's last name. So Diane wrote roses. And I just learned to, to do kind of two lines that look like two parentheses right close to each other. And then just start adding petals around them like that. So there's a rose. Yeah. 
and I started decorating an envelope so I can send um, the Christmas lady off to Holly. And then I don't like the envelope, so I'm going to do another one. <laughs> Mary would say, just, just paint it out and start fresh on that one, which I could. I might put some uh, rose leaves, and they're kind of like something kind of like that. So we'll put a few leaves here and there. Maybe put some over here. So, hi, Joan. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Mina. Hi, Susan. So I just got started on doing little roses here. Um, I might have to get up in the morning just so I can see what Mary found at the thrift store. I saw where she said she was going out and about today and running errands. We didn't get to go to the thrift store this week because I wasn't here. And roses are an easy doodle. You'll need to play catch up later. Okay. I just started with the roses. This one will be pretty if I color the background in better. Maybe do blue on the background with the highlighter like Mary does and then um, color the roses. Maybe I could do different colored roses. So let's see, it's supposed to be roses, barns, angel fish, spooky house, sand dollar, candy corn. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more um, ghosts and pretzels. Yeah, Mary, inquiring minds want to know, what did you do today? I drove back up here. Scott said, I'm glad you came home because it's supposed to be really windy and get cold tonight. So I don't have to be cold. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I ordered the fuel oil because it's looking like we're going to maybe need it this next week. And Scott put the new filter on there. And he cleared the line. He said he thinks that tank needs to be replaced out there. So if Adele's going to keep the furnace after we get moved out, she might want to invest in a new oil tank. He said he thinks that one's just got so much crud in the bottom of it. And it's so old, that it'd probably be a good idea if she did, you know, get a new one. That one doesn't look much like a rose, but we're going to go for it. Yeah, we'll just put a little turn there in the middle. Maybe that'll make it look even more like a rose.
my little nephew's got a fundraiser going for his school. They're, he's wanting everybody to pledge so much per lap. On, I guess he's gonna have a. They're gonna have a fun run, and he's raising money by the amount of laps he does. And he is a very good little runner, so he'll probably do a lot of laps. I'm going to take a second to check the chat because I see it's moving along and I want to see what y'all are saying. I watched some of Dee Dee this morning and congratulations to Ray. She won the coloring book Dee Dee gave away this morning. And I kind of just babied Sally and checked her before I left real good and I told Greg, I said, if it starts looking angry at all, you need to call that vet's office and get her back over there. And um, they told me that if she started licking on it to get her a cone, but they didn't have any. And I was like, well, where am I supposed to get one? We'll go to the pet stores. And it's like, well, I told Greg just to keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't swell or anything. But she looked good. And she was, she was back to herself. I shared my link before I went live. There's a button um, to share before you come on. And so I used it today to get it onto Facebook. Because you can share it to Facebook or you can tweet or I don't know all the different ways. Hi, Ian. Joyce, hey Joyce. Oh, wait a minute. What's what what? Who? Oh, I do that a lot too, Joyce. When I'm painting down at the house, I'll put most of the time I put Laura, um, Jersey Crafter on when I'm painting because she's usually the one that's on live during the day. So I'll put her on when I'm down there painting. But man, I haven't painted in in a couple weeks. I've been taking a break from it. Um, I'm seeing an orthopedic doctor on Monday about my left knee. Um, I thought I'd burst the Baker cyst I have on the back of my leg. I've had it for years, but it was hurting so bad. I mentioned it to my doctor when I went last week and she said, well, let's get you into an orthopedic. And she put me on prescription naprazen. And um, because if, it doesn't hurt unless I bend my my leg too far back. Like I, I like to sit cross-legged and I can't do that right now because I can't bend my left leg that far. It's excruciating when it hurts. So she said, I'm going to get you in as an emergency situation because you got to be able to sleep. Janet says, hi, Ann. Thanks for the postcard. Hey, Mark. I am not using StreamYard, no. I don't like StreamYard myself. I don't like to listen to videos on StreamYard. Everything sounds too tinny. I just, I can't watch them. So I'm sorry if anybody's using StreamYard and I haven't been there. It's just because I can't, I can't stand the, the, the way it sounds. It, it just irritates me. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, it personally for me, it just irritates me. I'm just using YouTube and going through my webcam. Yeah, this one's I've had like for years. Um, and so I, I thought, you know, when we put that floor down, I think that's when I hurt the back of it. So the doctor was talking about, them having to go in with a needle, drain it, and then shoot cortisone in to cool it back off. So I don't know what they're going to do. Mine has been huge, like the size of a tennis ball for years. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the next one, which is from Violet. And she said to do barns. 
So I thought there's all kinds of barns. So you can have them where they have the rounded roof like this. And the slats go this way. And this is where the hay goes in. And then we had, our door was on a, a big bar at the top. And this big door here would slide over to the left. And then this had the siding on it. Yeah, I, I just, I, there's just something about this, the way it sounds. I don't like it. That's why I haven't been watching Beth because she's always on with everybody, you know, which is great. I just, I can't, can't stand the way it sounds. It might just be me. So I guess I'll just do my own thing and be out here on my own. This one doesn't have a hayloft. Must be, because I didn't draw one. Then we'll, maybe we'll do some fence post between the barns. Hi, Roy. We actually finally got some rain. Um, I don't know if it rained up here, but it rained when I was down at the house um, looking after Miss Sally, Sally Britches down there. barbed wire. So I'm putting little barbs on it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear Bernadette in the background, but she's snoring up a storm back there. I don't think she sleeps down at the house. And Scott said he thinks she gets depressed because our other dog, you know, we had to put her to sleep. And um, I'm going to make this the back of this barn so you're not going to see anything of course I should put a weather vane atop one I guess You had to re-glue the toupee, huh? <laughs> um, let's do one that looks more like an old schoolhouse with a maybe this is just a chicken coop off to the side here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Make a little doorway here. Maybe have a little platform when chickens come out. 
this will be the chicken yard over here so we'll put maybe we'll put a tree right here put chicken chicken or hog fence around this this way that'll be the chicken yard my mom has a little chicken coop looks like a little schoolhouse that's something I could do sometimes go visit my mom and introduce you to all of her menagerie oh my goodness her donkey died, but um, she's got goats and ducks and chickens and I don't know. Another tree. Then we'll switch back to regular fence posts. And hi, Mary Hill. I meant to say hi. Put a little weather vane up here. I used to love the little weather vane on the farm. You put the hayloft. Our hayloft opening was on the side of the barn. Actually had a couple openings. So you could fill up one bay and then move down and fill up the next one. And then the conveyor would run up there. And my horses were in the front of the barn. There was two stalls for the horse and the pony. And then the cows ran in the main part of the barn. And then behind the cows, there was like a little section that came out from the side of the barn is where the calves were. And then out the back side was the barnyard and you didn't want to try to stand in the barnyard because it was always wet and nasty. And if you went out there and you had boots on, your boot could get stuck in the mud and then you, you know, your foot would be all nasty because your boot would come off and then your foot would fall in the, and yeah, <laughs> farm memories. All right. The next one was from Deborah. And she said an angel fish. So they're the ones that have the pointy things out the back. Mine's not looking very nice. At least this one isn't. And they have the stripes. And they have a little fin there.
Well, that fish looks ill. Scrap box, dream box. Huh. That's not something I've heard of either. I didn't realize it was the South Carolina State Fair last week, so I missed it because when I got down there this week, they had loaded everything back up on the train to move to the next town. So mm -hmm. I missed that. I don't know if these look like the real ones or not. <laughs> this is the picture I... came across. Janet says she just passed out. She looked it up. Must be awesome. Oh, you know what? I forgot the fin that's down here. That's a little bit better. And I guess give him some bubbles coming up. Dead fish. He's not floating yet, though, so I guess he might be okay. In my house, fish that you put in a tank are called murder victims because I really stink at trying to... I do better with cats. <laughs> I'll just take a, a, a self-reliant kitty cat over a fish any day. I don't know. Maybe I should have looked up more pictures of angelfish. Because these just, they're having their own little bad day. Maybe we're looking at them through one of those funny glasses where, you know, when they go swim around, um, you know, and everything looks kind of distorted. That's what, that's my fish. They're distorted. I, 
I have craft tables, but they're down at the other house, and I I don't really have room for them here either. I should have put some hay out these windows. And put some hay out the, the that one and that one, maybe just a few strands of hay hanging out the bottom. And I even drew one here that's got the um the windmill thing on the top. Not windmill. Um Tells you the wind direction. And that sounds a lot like my table. It folds up so it's like I can push it back if I wanted to so it takes up less room. The two ends fold down. But I got mine at Joann's years ago. All right. The next one is from Christy. And she just said, Spooky Houses. So, they're going to have to be skinny, spooky houses. So, whatever says spooky to you. Maybe put a spider web here. And a creepy tree. That's supposed to be a rail there. Maybe we'll have a put us a little cemetery next to it. I'm sorry, I went quiet on you guys. Sorry about that. Get in the zone.
I don't know what kind of house this is supposed to be, but spooky, right? Spooky houses. I don't know. Maybe it's a spooky town now because I just put a store in it. <laughs> oh, golly. This tree's partly fallen over. It's kind of wind swept. Got a hole in it. It's doodling, right? Just doodles. Stepping stones. And another creepy tree, maybe. Or a bush or something, I don't know. Probably not what Christy envisioned, but uh, it, it's kind of a spooky looking house. So that was Christy, Spooky Houses. All right, Beth said Sand Dollar. And then all I can describe these as is they look like coffee beans. You make two halves. And there's five of them. Two. 
It's not kind of like that, but not quite. This is supposed to be running up next to that. So that's a couple sand dollars. Hi, Lisa Elaine. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to try to start doing some different just standalone videos. I keep saying that, but I've been thinking about what I could do. And with the holiday season coming up, I think I'm going to do some standalone sewing videos. Just basic sewing. Um, nothing um, too elaborate or anything. Just to get somebody into sewing that might be interested but doesn't know where to begin and I'm going to start with like um you know how to find a pattern and how to um choose the right size for you because you can't just go buy a pattern by the size you buy in the, in the stores there's differences in between sewing patterns and this what they make on the racks and you'll want to make sure you're buying a pattern that's going to fit you or be really close so you don't have to make a whole lot of alteration and I was also thinking about gift ideas that people could um, make to give as gifts in fact once I get these borders done, I would like to do a Dirty Dozen tonight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut mine in half. And I'm going to make two little journal covers. And then I will just put um, either drawing paper or maybe a mixture of um, different types of art paper. And put them all together inside this cover we're making tonight as little um, art journals to give to my nieces and nephews for uh, Christmas this year. I just thought that could be a fun thing to do. I think this sand dollar got broken really bad. It's not looking as good as, as it could. And I was also thinking about how to show um, maybe how to refurbish a Barbie's hair. 
Uh, if you bought one at the thrift store, I mean, you can make it look like it's brand new um, just by cleaning it up and washing its hair and conditioning it and everything. Hi, Nancy. So that's what I was thinking about doing. And maybe when I'm working on a project, I might do um, like videos with some maybe sped up sections and then slow down when it comes time to um, give instruction. That way I'm not on for hours and hours and hours and more people can watch shorter videos. And maybe I could do some that I could premiere them so that as you have questions, I could be on for the first playing and answer them. So that's my sand dollars. Hi, Beth. Hi, Deborah. So the next one was from Susan. She just said candy corn. And I was like, woohoo, an easy one. <laughs> I like candy corn all right I'm not supposed to eat it anymore but what my favorite Halloween candy is the pumpkins the, the candy corn type pumpkins I love that stuff I'm trying to do it so it looks like they're just laying together on the table, maybe. Boy, I came back up and was getting close to the mountains again, and my ears just started popping. Definite, definite um, pressure change this week. And then we're going to go back down to work on the house this weekend. keep finding houses that would be perfect for us, but um, we're just not ready to jump at it. <sighs> candy corn, candy corn. The premieres are fun, Roy, because then you can answer questions and still and still connect with people um, that watch your videos, which is a lot of fun to do. All right. So now Mitz brought this one up. She just said ghosts. And Mary did an awesome stamp of a ghost. So I just think of sheets with flowy arms. Boy, that one's really got flowy arms. And then just give them a couple eyeballs. Ooh. Every time I see one that they've added the mouth, it makes me think of that movie Scream. Never watched it. I don't like scary movies much.
A big old fat raccoon was out on the porch. Scott put a ton of food out there on the wash on the dryer, I mean. And I told the raccoon, I said, just go ahead and eat it. You're already here. So, oh, and I want to do some quilt videos, too, of just simple blocks like nine patch block or real fence or um, what's another that's real easy. Um, I, the windmill one is easy. I'm trying to think of easy blocks. I'll look up the easiest blocks I can find to start with. When I was down at the house, I went to Joanne's and I got some um, minky, but it's red because it was in the remnant bin to make the dragon. And then they had this other uh, minky kind of stuff that was on sale for $4.99. So I just got kind of a grayish, gray white to go with it so I can make that little dragon. I might, I might, um, do a video on making the dragon. It might be like in several parts, like do one on, you know, showing which pieces to cut out, how to read the pattern. That would be maybe a good one to start um, just explaining pattern. It would not be a good one for a beginner to try. It's got lots of um, angles. I think a beginning sewer is best to try until they get used to the machine do pillows and totes a couple times and uh, then work your way up to doing, you know, turns. Yes. Log cabins easy too. You're right, Janice. That is another one. Now, see, I don't mind. I don't mind like crime dramas and things like that. I don't like blood and guts gore movies. I can't watch those. I just can't. I just can't do that. All right. And then Janet. Janet said pretzels. So that'll leave to finish out. I'll only have four for next week. I'll have skeletons, bowler hats, angels, and M&Ms. So that's the, I'll figure out four more to do with that. But right now we need to do these pretzels. Oh, let's see. Start off with the one that's going to fold over that just looks like this. And then make a leg out that way. And this comes around. Oh, he's going to go off the page a little hat and then this goes to there this is like a pretzel I make <laughs> mine look just like that and then get, put little salts on there little squares for the little chunky salt I like anti is it anti Anne's Pretzels with the jalapenos in them. Oh, I love those. Those are delicious. Let me let me see if I can do it this way. Okay. I'm trying to reverse it for myself. Something's not right. Well, this is a, a retract pretzel because, <laughs> because this is all wrong. All right. We're just going to put some salt on this and pretend he turned out perfect. 
I did something wrong. I was trying to talk too much instead of concentrate. Oh, let's try again. These take some practice. These are trickier to draw than you'd think. That one doesn't look too hot either. Spiders. All right, 28, 29 will be spiders. 30, 31, 32. Oh, I know. I, I think I watched her and she was making a um, poison ivy costume, I think. And when she brought that chiffon on, out, I was like, are you kidding? Trying to do that your first thing? That was crazy. I don't think we've done spiders yet, or have we? I don't know. We'll flip back through. Let me try again here. Let's let's do a couple more pretzels before I totally give up on them. All right, so there's that. And then the other piece has to come out here. And it comes out. And back around to the other side over here. And then it comes across like this. And then a down like this. There we go. We've, we've got one. Put a few pieces of salt on it. You can put as much salt as you want on one or as little. By the time I get to the last one, I'll actually have it down pat. Let's see. Okay. I have trouble making pretzels into pretzel shapes. I tried to make them when Greg was um, younger. Mine didn't look nothing like a pretzel. I told him, I said, next time I'm making pretzel sticks and that's going to be it. I'm not going to try to do pretzels anymore. Oh, Mom, you can do it. He thinks his dad and I can do anything. All right. All right, I did the pretzels. And um, tomorrow after Scott goes to work, I'll come back on and we'll color them in. So at about 2.30, I'll come on, 2.30 on Thursdays, I'll come on to color borders until we get the borders all colored in. And then maybe I'll do something else on Thursdays at 2.30. So we need, let's look back through and see um, if I've done spiders before. I might have. I don't know. Here's the first one. I haven't colored anymore because I figured I'd um, color them with y'all. I really love how the little spaceships turned out when we were coloring last week. 
I'm not seeing any spiders yet. So we'll start coloring here with the owls and mice and stuff. Might even color in the larger pictures of them that we did. Uh, we did inchworms. We did ants. These are fireworks. I love doing those lamps. Those lamps were fun to draw. Then here's my crazy couple pages I did with Mary that got all wonky. Um, not seeing any spiders there either. We did bats. Nope, we haven't done spiders yet. So spiders can go on the list. There's the crazy ones we did this week. And we've done we've done jack o' lanterns. Um, and we did crows and scarecrows. What else is Halloween that we haven't done? Tooth hurdy. Ah ha ha. That's a dad joke, they'd say. Dad jokes. Thanks, Mary. Oh, witches' hats. We could do witches' hats and brooms. Witches' hats and brooms. So we need one more. Did you all say something else? Um. Oh, I like cauldrons. Cauldrons. All right, we've got our eight for the next time. So I want to draw a line here so I can just oh, remember where we stopped last time. All right, so and this was a thrift store find. These I have two of these, I think. And this one, I just decided to do these borders in. It's just a neat way to keep all your ideas in one place. All right, so... Keep in mind, my Dirty Dozen tonight, I'm going to cut it in half, probably this way, so that I can fold in half and have two little sketchbooks for my nieces and nephews. So if I do one this week, then I can do another one and another one. I, I need to count up how many I have under the age of 18 that like to draw. So I'm just going to do the whole thing and then cut it in half. Keep in mind that the other one, we just did ghosts tonight. Mindy, you're the one that recommended the ghosts and I did them tonight. See, those are ghosts. Right there, under between candy corn and pretzels. Those are my scary ghosts. I don't think they're very scary. All right. So who's who's going to play tonight? And I found my old sticks, and I'm just going to use those. And I've got my paper pad here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull four alternates. And I'll put these in the description box after we're finished. So alternates are attach a piece of packaging from your favorite fall beverage. That's a long one. Attach. Uh, and I don't think I have anything that I could do that with. So it's good that it came out as an alternate. From your favorite fall beverage. And I am not like everybody else in that I cannot stand everything pumpkin flavored. The only thing that should be pumpkin flavored is either donuts or pumpkin bread.
I wonder if I'll be able to read my own writing later. We'll see. Okay, second one. Okay, Mary, that's fine. Name your page. What I might do is add the child's name to the front of the book and then, but I do that um, afterwards so that, because they watch my videos, I don't want them to know which ones are getting. Gelatos is the third one. These are the alternates. Gelatos. And then the last alternate will be make a hidden message pullout. Mary outdid herself today. She's too poop to party. <laughs> All right. First prompt. Tape transfer. <sighs> I had some, but I don't know what I did with them. So... I guess I'll do the gelatos. Because I don't want to do tamp tape transfer. Oh. These are art crayons. I think I'll use red. If you do the first one, it might take you a little bit of time because the transfers take a while. That's why I wanted to do it. Something alternate. I have some that I've already made. I just don't know where I put them up because I put them up somewhere safe, you know, where I'll never find them. This looks like that. What's that? Bouchel that looks like the 1990s suiting. I never liked cutting that stuff. When I worked at Joann's and people would buy that stuff, I, I didn't like it. So I never I never bought any to work with myself. Because when we'd cut it, that stuff would go everywhere. Well, I can't get that to turn back down, so hopefully I'm not damaging it. All right. Okay, I've got a cat at the back door. That'll give, if somebody's doing tape transfers, that'll give you a little bit more time. What was the alternate three? Gelatos. Alternate three was gelatos. And then four was make a hidden message pullout, which I think could be fun inside my front cover. So I might use that and add it a little message from Aunt Becky. What is it? It's Kelly. Kelly, getting cold. You guys picking on poor little old spot. I thought. All 
All right. Oh, my mouse has gone to sleep. Wake up, wake up. Okay. Submit there. Number two was name your page. You just writing them down, Holly? I'm going to go ahead and go because I don't know who all is playing or if anybody is. If everybody's just writing them down, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, enjoy your soup, Roy. That sounds yummy. I love broccoli's cheddar. All right, number two is use tape. I think I've got some in this little tray. Right here. Whoops. Maybe not. I still haven't um, laminated those bookmarks that I made with Lisa and H Hannah. Well, I thought I had some washing tape out here back this way. Leave him alone. Quit being a pain in the neck. Don't be naughty. Be a good girl. Doesn't look like there's too much left on that. All right. This is that extra strength craft bond. Well, I'm going to see if it'll stick without glue because it's it's narrower than the the glue stick and I I usually clear coat, you know, if it's going to be used for a co cover or I'm mailing it, I clear coat it. So Callie, you stop being naughty. She wants to go beat poor little spot up. Callie. I think that's the end of this. Yay, I can throw something in the trash. All right. I keep moving, and it looks like the autofocus is still on. All right, I'll put you out. Do not run around there and be mean to him. He hasn't even come to see me. All right, Callie out. How are you?
apparently it's cat herding hour. All right. Oh, did I see JL's in here? All right. Number three. Uh, I don't want to do that one, so we're not going to do it. I'm just going to throw it aside. Go away. All right. Add an arty word over and over with a Sharpie. With a Sharpie. Uh, I guess it could be any any marker that you have. Good enough. Oh, Doodle. Doodle needs to go on here, too. And remember, I'm writing it because this is going to be cut this way, and I'll get two journals out of this. Two little journals. All right. I should cover this. Going to choose number four is stamp either with a stamp or a household item. I'm just going to write stamp. So you can stamp with anything you have that you would like to stamp with. This is one of those 89 cent thrifted um, stamps I got a couple weeks back.
we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, good enough. Stays on, never really comes off very well either. Okay. That sounds like a good idea, Mary. All right. So that was four. It is getting cold. I've got some windows open I can close here in a minute. Add gauze or cheesecloth. Just a minute, Howard. Let me let him out. Musical cats. I have cheese cloth somewhere. You ready to go, buddy? Okay. Oh, I know where I've got some. There you go. Bin I'm thinking about is um, boxed up. Think on this. I know I have cheese ball. All right, guys, I do not know where my cheesecloth is. I'm going to use just some of this rolled lace on here, and I'll put it on with this heavy gel medium and hope I can work with it. packages of that <sighs> cheesecloth. Oh, there's the cheesecloth. Never mind. I see it. I'll save this lace for another project. I'll just stick this back down in the middle of that tube. Right. 
The only one that probably won't give us any grief tonight is the little guy because he's already eaten and he's asleep behind me. And probably because I said that, that might all change. Two of the ladies that worked for me when I was manager at Joann's were working at the old location where I originally started working, where I went this weekend. They said, well, we haven't seen you in a long time. And I'm like, well, I don't live here anymore, really. I'm telling you guys, going down there without Scott, it's like I'm sitting in somebody else's house. It's got to that point where it's just like so weird to be there. The more I try to get it to settle down, the worse it gets here. Okay, we're just going to kind of whack at this here. I actually have something better than this stuff here. It's for fabric. But I have this here. We might as well use it. I might as well use this stuff up. So what I'm thinking is I'll just spread this over the whole thing. Well, I'm just, just thinking, you know what? That washi tape is not going to go anywhere now. Because it'll be under all this stuff. All right, good enough, good enough. Let's see. It's trying to walk off the table. I pulled up today and Scott said, I had a feeling you would do this and be back early. I was like, well, for one, I forgot to leave the checkbook with you. And for two, I was missing you. <laughs> this should prove interesting to try to cut later. You know how you're offered up videos on YouTube to watch? Well, they offered up um, this interviews with killers. And one of them was just this little girl. I was like, man, I wouldn't want a babysitter. She might get mad at me. I don't know what luck I'm going to have with this. We'll see. I guess I could fold that over to the other side if I wanted to. I'm thinking I'm just going to let it dry and then um, trim it off. I've never used this stuff before. This heavy body adhesive. All 
All right, the rest of this I'm just going to leave. We'll see. If it's crispy, it will cut. Okay. It's definitely not crispy right now, but we'll see. I'm a cat magnet. Scott calls me the cat whisperer. All right. This is a funny thing. When I was heading down to the house, you know, I take Bern Bernadette with me because she can't she can't be alone. She's blind and somebody has to take her in and out. And so I had her in the back of the truck, not in the, you know, not in the back truck of the truck, back seat of the cab. And um, they were playing um, Oh, Desi Arnaz Jr. type music with horns. Well, every time the trumpets went off, Bernadette would just start barking and barking and barking. She hated the trumpets. I've never seen her act react to something so badly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick number six. Number six, use painty paper. Six, use painty paper. All right. That's something I can glue down. This is gluing to my drop cloth right there. There we go. got some red on it. And these were done with um, just quick, quickly done with leftover watercolor paint. I think I'll just use those. I don't know what they'll do when I put the stuff to them, but we'll see. All that matters is that I'm using the painty paper. It doesn't matter what it does. Well, that's true, Susan. I hadn't thought about that, but she settled right back in after I um, switched stations. But boy, she hated those. And I was pulling on to um, 385, too. So it was like the worst possible time for her to start barking and freaking me out. 385 goes around Greenville. But I have to take it to get on to I-26. I 
Oh, I think I'm going to use this one. So let me put that back in the bag. I'm just tearing this up into some smaller pieces. And since this is watercolor, it'll probably move on me. But I think that'll be enough pieces to get me going. Oh, I didn't see the flower punch part, Nina. Mina, sorry. So mine's just getting torn and stuck down. I guess I should be paying attention to which way the writing's going, but I'm not. getting glue all over me. Oops. This is me getting lost in the zone again. Sorry, guys. Just get lost in the zone. Forget to talk. It's like you just start doing something repetitive and your brain kick, clicks off and it's like, put the glue on, stick it down. Put the glue on, stick it down. <laughs> This one I'm going to hang off the page a little simply so that I can just trim it off later. All right, now I've got this other paper. It's got a different colorway on it. I don't know, I might give some of these to like my, my mom and my aunt too. Maybe give them a little pack of colored pencils. My mom's got lots of colored pencils. Give her a new journal to work in maybe. Try to encourage her to do a little art every once in a while. But She's 
She doesn't do enough for herself. Oh, we're discussing something on there. Oh, man. I want to itch my nose, but I got glue all over my hands. This is the last piece I have pulled apart specifically to stick on here. So. All right. Watch me get something else that has to be glued down with this and I've cleaned up. That's usually what happens is I think, oh, you're done with that. Go ahead and put it aside. And then it is say, stick something else down. I need to move that. That's going to be interesting trying to get that cleaned up. All right. I like how it's turning out. We still have six more prompts to put on here. I'm going to call the next one here in just a sec. I'm trying to get some of this glue off. Oh, you're talking about bands? I think I had um, WNCW on at the time. We're so close to North Carolina, we can pick that up until I get, and it'll keep playing all the way down to where um, 385 joins with I-26 East. All right. Oh, that feels so creepy. I'm going to pull the next one. I might have to dry this, but I figure if I pull the next one, if anybody's working along with me, they'll have it on here. Let's see. Use gray. Use gray. Well, if I use gray, I'm going to water it down and just put it here and there is what I'm going to do. So let me get a paintbrush. That's a gray paint. Mina says, no, Rebel, Rebel.
What's bad is the glue hasn't dried yet. It's just walking off the table. This might not be a good idea for me to be doing this right now. All right. I'm trying to get it to quit coming at me. This is just coming off. Let's dry it some and see. It is a dreary color. I was hoping it would like make the colors pop. Uh, you know what? I unplugged all this before I left. Okay. Heat gun alert. But you don't know what will go on top of it. That's the thing. Something bright could go on top of it and knock it back to the background. I'd love it if I could cut some of that extra cheesecloth off. I'm telling you what, the way things are going right now, I'm kind of wishing I had one of my older mach sewing machines up here 
And I would, after it's all really good and dry, I'm, I would do some stitching all over it, but I don't want to use my good sewing machine for that. And we haven't found a, a pedal and a cord for the one I got out of the Goodwill bins. So that, I don't know what we're going to do with that. And I'm not keeping this bits of cheesecloth. It's going right in the trash. The horror. As cheap as cheesecloth is. I'm concentrating on cutting so I don't cut my fingers. See what this is going to turn out like. All right. This is feels kind of loose right here. That's why I was thinking, you know, stitching it might be an option. Um, should I whack a tool using primate? No, no, tool using primate. That's Scott, guys. <laughs> Don't whack him. You wouldn't like it much. That's Scott, you guys. <laughs> Don't whack him. He's sneaking and watching. Holly's quick on the draw. She's going to whack you. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do about that because it's not it's not stuck down. But something will come along that will make it work. If not, maybe I'll just hand stitch it with something. Scott, you're so wicked. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's hope something comes along to undo the gray I just added. I'm sure it will. That's number seven. So number eight, number eight says, use gold or copper. Use gold or copper. Should I use gold or copper? What do you guys think? Gold or copper? Mary would probably say gold, of course. Copper may show up better. Okay, copper gets two votes. Copper. Right? It kind of sounds like I've used most of the copper up. All right, let's see here. Susan says both. <laughs> well, let's see what this looks like. I'm using this um, stencil that's supposed to look like linen.
I thought this would be good because we used that other, um, we used the stamp that kind of had the same print on it. You know, kind of a squares. So Scott ordered a new computer and FedEx has lost it, you guys. They think it was in Knoxville or Nashville or, you know, somewhere. They're not sure where. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but they can't find it. So hopefully they'll find it soon. I can see where the um, the stuff is coming back up. It's kind of floating above the paper. All right, I'm gonna put this down here. Bye-bye, Gray. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're 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 wanting to know that too, Mina. It's um it's a new laptop for him because he has one that's kind of ugh. Yeah, it is a big weave. <laughs> Makes me think of feed sacks instead of um, linen. Yeah, gold is definitely not. Um, yeah, it's an expensive one. Yes, yes. JL says the driver took it home with him. Oh, well. Scott and I had to look up what kitschy meant the other day. <laughs> because some girl was talking about how she loved kitschy. And I was like, oh, okay. Not what I thought, but okay. Uh-oh, Arlene says that if it's near Knoxville, it's good as gone. Drip or splatter white paint is number nine. Drip or splatter white paint. is number nine. I agree, Mary. So is copper. If gold is, copper has to be. Don't watch, Scott. This is not how the paint gets on the computer.
Yep. And Lisa says, it <laughs> gold must be good then because copper is great. <laughs> Hi, Lisa, by the way. Uh-oh, Scott says it may already have been turned into meth in Knoxville. Scott's favorite color? I don't know. Um, my favorite color on Scott is blue but I don't know that that's his favorite color. Maybe he likes green. He always seems to go for green. Green or blue. I just always seem to buy him blue shirts. If I find a shirt for him, it's usually blue. I've been doing it so long that I just assumed it was his favorite color. But then he was like, can we get a different color besides blue? <laughs> and I thought, oh, I thought blue was your favorite color. You wear it all the time. He said, well, that's why you, because you buy it for me. I just like all earthy colors, like an earthy green or an earthy brown. Oh, that glue is everywhere. All right. I'm going to pull number 10. We're getting there. I think I'm going to have to wrap up as soon as I get to number 12 because I've got a little dog behind me that I think needs to go out. He says he's wearing blue now because I picked that shirt out. Um, book or music paper? Well, I've already done book or music paper. I guess I could add more. Book or music paper? I don't know if I want to. Hmm. I don't know that I want to add any more texture to it. Okay, and I don't like the alternates, so I'm going to give you another alternate if you want to use it. I just don't want to use the book or music paper, so I'm going to choose another one. Joyce wants to know, can you buy joint compound in a small amount? They have those little tubs. Um, well, the ones that we've been getting is about the size of a paint can and they're like nine bucks, but I think they make a smaller one that's like, a yeah, Dollar Tree has the small things of the joint compound. This says bronze and I don't want to do bronze either. So number 10 is book or music paper or bronze or... Use gold. Okay. I'll I'll use gold. I'm not going to try to pick another one. Use gold. I think Howard's knocking on the door now. He actually knocks. He, it sounds exactly like somebody knocking on the door. I'll get him here in a minute. Howard. 
Howard gave Scott the cold shoulder because I wasn't here. Scott was saying he'd come in, he'd look over here at my table, kind of huff and ask to go back out. So he's been sticking kind of close. And Callie says it's cold. She might spend the night in tonight. Uh-oh, I'm stuck to it. Here we go. Boy, you can't even hardly see that. But I'm using gold. I don't know. Can you guys see the gold? Yeah, you can kind of see it. I need some more gold. Yeah, I got my Hootie Owl postcard from you, Mary. I put it in my little pink book at the beginning. I really like that three and a half. What is it? Three and a half by five and a half? Because I can put two in each pocket. Oh, well, that is Howard. He's really getting agitated because I'm not coming right away. Can you see the gold? See, there's gold on there. You just can't see it as well. Let's set that aside. Clean this off here. Before I go open the door, I'll tell you guys what number 11 is, okay? All right, there's that. Number 11 is going to be doodle. Now, I don't know how I'm going to doodle on this. But I'll dry it and see if I can doodle a little bit with a, a pasta pen or something. Yes, Howard, come on. Hi, buddy. I think I'm going to pull the last one and then decide if I want to do the doodle now or after I do the next one. So I'll go ahead and give you 12, too. Use newspaper. Paper. Or, I'm going to pull in one more. Use newspaper or add dots. I'm going to do the add dots and then dry it really good and then doodle on it. What color dots should I do? Do you guys think? What color dots? Red ones? All right, Becky, these have been really weird prompts for you. Yeah. Yeah. I found this, these sticks when I was cleaning up, and I said, well... I'll pull those out and we'll give them a try again. Red dots or bright blue or black and white. Bernadette, what are you doing? Let me take her out real quick. <laughs> Hang on, baby. I gotta move some things so you don't fall over. Can you go aside. Hold up. All right, let's go. I'll be right back, guys. Ah, that's 
Don't run into that. Hey, come back here. That's Howard. Don't step on him. Oh my gosh, it's like clown show here. All right. Yes, I know. You both want to go out. Okay. All right. Hang on just a minute, Bernadette. Keep drinking while I change into my other slippers. So I don't get my good slippers all yucky and wet grass. It's like a darn clown call. <laughs> Howard says it's too cold to stay outside, Bernadette. Hold oh, up. Uh. Yes, I know. Is Howie your cat? All right, get back in your bedroom. Come here. Get in your bedroom. No, you want cookie? Get in there. That's a good girl. Sit. Good girl. Stay. A molasses cookie. Here. Here. Whoop. He followed us around, but he beat us to the door. He's like, it's too cold out there. Oh, it is a big production. Several times a day. And you don't even have to do most of it. <sighs> she didn't waste any time. She did her business and was ready to turn around and come back in. <sighs> Woo. Pyrenees are pretty dogs. They eat a lot. I think those molasses cookies I got her a while ago, I think they're starting to get kind of hard. She's over there making some weird noises. Scott, you'll get to come home here in less than an hour. Of course, unless they, like, call you last minute, which I hope they don't tonight. It must be slow tonight for you. I don't know how that's going to do because that paper's peeling up. Don't jump up here now. No. No, Howard. I know you want to be held, but not right this minute, okay? All 
All right. There's some red dots. Oh. He's mad now. He wants to go out. You want to go back out? Okay. It's cold. Go wait for Daddy. Howard's waiting for you, Scott. But it's cold. We might have to do a cat pile. When it gets really cold, it is a cat pile. Scott and I get buried under three cats. Bye. See you later. See you in about an hour and a half. Wish we had a way to put her out in the yard and let her run around a little bit where she wouldn't run into things. <sighs> in time. <sighs> Tanya, hey. So are you headed back south? degrees here but we've got a breeze and it's making it cooler you're in Virginia right now cool uh oh she's buffering yeah I enjoyed your hike that was nice Trying to get this dry enough to see if I can maybe do a little doodling of sorts. So funny. The cheesecloth is lifted up from this. I don't know if when I put the clear coat, if I can get it to lay down with that. Or if I'll need to put it between something to get it to lay flat.
this might be a very tactile journal covers. Let's see what we've got in the line of Posca pens. It's black. That's that art, artisan paint pens. This one I think is the one I'd already opened. I think this one's gold. Two different paint pens there. Yeah, we finally got some rain here in South Carolina, but it really wasn't enough to, you know, do too much. We're, we're just in such a state of badness as far as rain level which was kind of odd after the spring we had with so much rain and then to just not have any. I think I'm going to cut this in half um, so that I know where the borders are. So I think this is, what, nine inches? So if I trim this at four and a half, These will just be two little journals. And I'll have two gifts done. All I gotta do is add some pages. I might look for that other um, thrifted sketchbook that I'm doing the borders like that to um, add pages to this because these are gonna be for kids. So this way, let's see what we can do here. Your sister's puppy. Let's see. I'm going to do a wiggly line border around. I need to set one of them out of the way. I'm hoping when I clear coat that it'll just hold everything on it on the cover. You can tell when I hit a piece of paper because the pen writes better. And it sounds funny when it goes across the The cheesecloth. I was trying to remember what I use. What is it? What is it? Set that aside to dry and we'll do this one. Just a wiggly line. Maybe I'll just put these in, um, in my box of stuff and whoever would like one can pick it. If they don't want them, I'll have stuff left over. Um, to do giveaways or something in the future. And I'm hearing all these rules about giveaways and it makes me nervous that YouTube has. I need to look into it so I don't get myself in trouble in any way. What I give away is just either handmade stuff or just more crafting stuff. Oh, that's... Bring this one back. Let that one dry a bit. Thanks, Mary.
going over the uh, the gauze is almost as bad as um, nails on a chalkboard for me. I guess I'm not into S. What is SMLR? Where you sit and you listen to things. It's like mm, no. That's not soothing at all to me. <sighs> right. Wonder. Do this one here. Oh, Tanya's going. Bye, Tanya. Safe travels. Get a good night's rest. have Posca pens in um, different colors too. Just going over this is really... Ugh. Oh, Arlene's going. Good night. Just add dots. Let's see what these white ones will do. Oh, 
Beth posted a picture of the, her dirty dozen in her group that she did with me. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a pen touch pen. Ooh, that wasn't quite done. Now I got a red dot on my um, tip of this pen. Now that one's got it again. end up ruining the tip on this. Whoa! I got some white to move out of it that time. Ah! Let's When I start doodling, I just go off into my own zone. I'm sorry, guys. And I'll probably set these aside and let them get good and dry and then clear coat them. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to find the just the simple little sketchbook paper to put in here. And I might use the corner rounder on them. I just don't want to manipulate them because I got puddles of white here and there. Let me get those other Posca pens. Ouch. Mm. 
Well, hopefully, I was just thinking about Scott's computer. I'm hoping they've put insurance on it, you know. That would be bad. doesn't say you can only doodle in one color or anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't imagine five great big dogs. One dog and six or seven cats is more than I can cope with.
right. I think that's going to be it on those. Like I said, I might add maybe punched out letters or something and put art on the front of it. I think I have um, some chipboard letters I could do that with. Let me see. Good night, Lisa. Let's see. There's one art, A R T. There's another T. It's upside down. Then we got T. Let's see if we've got any more. I have them in a different font. If I don't have them, there's an A. I just need another R. Just looking and looking and looking and looking. Nope. But I have this kind here. We'll put these back in there, these like this. I'll do them different, so they're different ones. I just need to get the other box. Or, wait a second here. It's a B, not an R. I don't know where I got these pink letters from, but I need to try to use them up. Look, there's a T. T. Oh, there's an A. These could be cool. If I have an R, probably won't have the R. V. P. Q. W. Got lots of U's. They almost look like horseshoes. Let's see. No R. All right. I'll go back and get the. It'd be cool if I could use those up if I just had an R. Okay, let me get. Yeah, I could make an R. I was hoping to just paint them and glue them down <laughs> after I clear coat. Let's see, a capital A. Here we go. The glue that I got on my hands is peeling off. If I was a little kid, I'd be so excited and I can go around saying, look, Skin. <laughs> this is a good size to do these with, too. Um, we'll set these somewhere so they can dry out of the way for a minute. I don't know if you guys can even see these. I got these. These will work. 
We'll paint them with gold. It's, it's going to take more than one coat to cover them, but I got lots of gold paint. I bought the whole alphabet from Saw Crafters before she shut down. So I've got a bunch of letters in these smaller letters. Not in the... These are um, Tim Holtz uh, chipboard letters, I think. And I'm, I'm getting... You know, getting those used up so there's not there's not enough vowels to really do much. I was lucky to find the one art, I guess. Kitschy gold. Yep, got to make it. Kitschy gold. This is that um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen that shines so good. Very kitschy, I guess. Oops. And once I get them clear coated. I might even wait to glue these letters on until I've got pages in. I might use E6000 to glue these onto the front of it so that they don't fall off. But then if, you know, if I do like I had planned and just put all the little things I'm making for presents for Christmas into a tub and just let each child pick what they want out of it. Then I'll have stuff made ahead that I can give away too. I got out too much gold. Maybe we could put some gold back on here. I'm just kind of running the paintbrush along. This is easier with your finger. <laughs> thinking, oh, I'll just wrap it up there. And then I think of something else to do. I guess I'll just leave them squared. Bernadette's snoring in the background. All right. 
right. Got all the way around. I wonder if I've got enough out there where I could do the other one just like that. That kind of finishes off the edge. What's Anne say? Kitsch is a German word meaning gaudy trash began in the English language in 1920s and 26. I'm going to have enough out and watch me pour too much out again. But I want to finish this edge. Just a little bit, Becky. More than enough, as usual. What would be fun is if I could, I need to dig my beads out anyway, because I've got those two um, divided containers that I got at the thrift store that I could fill up with beads that are still needing to be put into a box. But while I have the beads out, I should get pull some aside that are kind of colorful to put on this as a, a dangle. That would be cute. So next week, it sounds like we're going to get on the real Halloween um, theme with uh, our borders. I need to look at the calendar. What day does Halloween fall on? What day of the week? I'm going to leave those alone. <laughs> Thursday. It's on a Thursday. Huh. Maybe we could do a Thursday afternoon coloring session with, or maybe we'll do something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something we could do Halloween related live. I think that would be fun. And do it before the kitty stuff starts in in the evening. I don't have any little ones, so. And my big guy, he's off doing his own thing. <laughs> My big boy, Gregory. So this will go on the front. I think I might put it down here at the bottom. Uh-oh, that one's sticking. Maybe put it down at the bottom of the book instead of toward the top. That is not stuck down because I do want a clear coat before I stick them down. I 
I'm getting gold everywhere. Just trying to set this up and then I'm going to sign off and let you guys go to bed. Sorry I missed so much in chat, but it sounds like you guys had a good chat session together. All right. So I'll make two little sketchbooks or drawing books or whatever out of these. I think they'll look pretty good. Chamomile tea. Greg drinks that when he's having a, an anxious day. Thanks, Beth. Lavender is also good to help you relax. I like to make lavender sachets to put um, in your pillowcase. All right, guys, I'll let you go, and I'll be on tomorrow at 2.30 to color borders for an hour or so. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping in.